Hey guys, what's up? It's Solo, and today we're going to be talking about Master King's Fall. Now, uh, before this video starts, I am going to lay down the line that this is my own silly personal opinion, and while you're able to disagree with it, if you're going to get um, rude and upset in the comments, there's no need for that. This is just me being dumb and saying things that I've been thinking about when it comes to this to begin with so first of all i definitely think people's want for contest mode is valid due to the fact of champions being annoying especially when it comes to master versions of a mode and then i definitely think that i would rather have champions than or not have champions Blech. I'd rather have contest mode than champions. And also, I feel like eventually they need to rework or just take out champions in general. Because, I don't know, it feels very gimmicky, you know? Because, like, you go and you say, I don't know, say you're, like, chilling out, you're just doing a bunch of seasonal stuff, right? And then you're just like, oh, well... Here's my artifact, what does it give me? And then, like, literally the first line of these artifacts and the fifth line are mostly just champion mods for only specific weapons. So you're kind of limited still on what you can use. Like, for example, if this season I wanted to use, I don't know, hand cannons... There's no hand cannon mod this season. Or if I wanted to use a linear fusion rifle, there's none this season for that. And while you can give me the, oh, well, that's because you need to have a perfect build for a higher tier. But that also comes to the fact of people do want to use what they want to use like and i get it my loadout has double barriers right now and i can switch it to a pulse rifle but i want to be able to play my loadout the way i build it and not have to confine myself to specific i guess weapon type just to play uh just to play higher versions of things you know Well, yes, with stuff like raids, you're going to have to conform because there are certain things that are good in raids and certain things that are not. For example, in King's Fall, rockets are good for sisters, but not for any of the other bosses. Whereas linears are good for most of the other bosses. Because of how they work. And Cry Mutiny is just ad clear at this point. But that's the big thing. Is I definitely think I eventually want to see Bungie either rework champions into a different way as a like I guess. Because like we've seen them make a higher tier unit that is basically a champion. And I'm guessing that's what they're introducing with the uh are they tormentors um with the new the new big unit coming in lightfall is i feel like this is that unit is going to be a start of them making basically these tiny mini boss units that are going to be able to take the place of champions although i don't think champions will fully go away for a while I definitely think that champions definitely either need to get reworked or just taken out of the game um, and replaced with something better that f fits more of it's hard, but it's hard because the actual unit is hard and not because the gimmick behind the unit is hard. If that makes sense. Because the big thing with overloads is... They overheal. The big thing with barriers is that when you're shooting them, they put down a barrier and it makes it 
so then they can heal and then i believe unstoppable is just it has a lot of health if you don't stun it so yeah they're kind of gimmicky but I definitely feel like contest mode would be a lot better just because it's a lot harder without the need. I don't know what I just latched onto there, but it's a lot harder without the need to have champions everywhere. You know? And I definitely think that's a lot better than the system we have for Grandmaster Nightfalls and everything else. Anyway, let's talk about rewards. So, I'm going to probably irritate a lot of people when I say this, but Age of Triumph should not be the reward for Master uh, King's Fall. And hear me out on this one. Master, like, Age of Triumph was originally introduced because Destiny 1 was coming to a close. It was a way to celebrate all the years of destiny that's why almost every single raid in the game in that game currently got a remastered version for age of triumph and a new armor set yes there were harder versions of the raid i can give you that but it was for age of triumph to celebrate the end of the game you take that away by putting it into destiny 2 as a quote-unquote master version of the destiny 2 raids that are remastered or redone for the destiny 2 engine and then that just takes away the fact that we had to earn them in destiny 1 and it's just like and i get the i get the argument for because you know it could be bringing armor sets to people who only play destiny 2 it's and a lot of the armor sets are really cool but i don't know i feel like it takes away something for a lot of people who were playing destiny 1 and had to get these armor sets the entire time by you know just grinding age of triumph and then turning around and doing raids all the time i feel like they can give us a newer ornament like a newer version of armor for master raids if you know what i'm saying because like i feel like if we're waiting all this time to get you know these raids basically remastered why not give them like a new cool like ornament or something that you can use? Especially with King's Fall, like I definitely love to see them do like something like Taken again. Especially for King's Fall. Or like with Wrath, give them of course more of the like splicer slash Diva, which was already in the base armor set and we are pretty sure we're gonna get it i don't know i feel like there's a lot of nostalgia i guess behind that set because it is from destiny one but also i feel like i don't know it's a takeaway from destiny one because like i hear so many people complain that we take so much stuff from destiny one and put it in this and then they want master version of a raid to bring us more stuff from destiny one like i don't know that's my main issue with it honestly i just wish there was more stuff for master modes because like i can get the appeal of a master mode but also like if the rewards are kind of meh nobody really wants to do master modes except for saying that they did a master mode like that's it like, for example, like a lot of people have been saying, a lot of the crafted weapons, including the one I'm holding, because this one has uh, Firefly and Dragonfly on it. That's why everything explodes within a um, like two meteor radius of everything else. You know, are a lot better than a lot of the weapons you can get from these master versions of raids. And... I definitely think Bungie should change that. I feel like a master version of raid, uh, a master version of a raid, sorry, should reward a way better weapon than the one I'm carrying. Why? Because it's harder. Like that's the thing is if a game is wanting to become an MMO, its hardest challenges should reward the best loot. 
and that's always been my philosophy for it. I mean, I play, I've played a lot of MMOs in my lifetime, and that's usually how it works is, you know, the harder and harder things get, the more and more loot you get. Unless you're playing Dark Souls, then it's just hard the entire time, and then it gets impossible by the end. But, anyway, it's just, it's one of the things that I definitely view it, and I think, you know, if Bungie could make it so then, you know, the raid weapons were really good, like PvE weapons, you know, that'd be great. That's another thing, is I definitely say that we need to, I guess, separate the sandboxes even more. When it comes to how perks interact in different modes. For example, I am honestly tired of walking into a situation with like say Gambit. And people who have never gotten say Malfeasance. You know the only Gambit weapon to ever exist because... Or sorry Gambit Exotic to exist because they only made one specifically for gambit um you know people who have never gotten malfeasance but since they have either a time lost or an adept weapon from trials are really good because they can just invade and just pick off your whole team because a lot of the perks are really good for killing people or you know they're really good at killing enemies because they're time lost or whatever it is is really good at killing bad guys you know i really think there should be a lot uh, quite a bit of separation when it comes to like modes and like what benefits from what because like that's another thing you have a lot of pvp players having to go into pve to get a lot of the high tier pv uh pvp weapons and that shouldn't be how it is. It should be them going into high tier PvP to get PvP weapons. Like, and I really think Bungie should focus on, like, separating how these weapons are gotten. Because, like, for someone who wants to do PvP, they should, you know, they should be able to do PvP and get PvP weapons that are actually good. Rather than having to do raids, you know. And then with, like, Gambit, it should be, you know, the higher tier Gambit you do, the better Gambit stuff you get, and so on and so forth for, like, raids and nightfalls. And a lot of people would agree Destiny 1's system, at least for difficulty, was a lot better because it didn't rely on champions and gimmicks. Um, and I feel like Bungie has been hearing very, very clearly about you know, that people do not like champions. And that, you know, people don't want to have to go out of their way to go into a different mode to be rewarded. So I feel like eventually we'll get to a point where all th or just all the different, I guess, modes are going to have their own way of getting a weapon that is for that specific mode. But it may take until after the final shape because like i said in a previous theory i feel like they're going to like reboot destiny one of these days right and it's going to be like unreal engine 5 or something and it's just gonna be massive because they're like i feel like they're just gonna reboot it and then all of a sudden everything's gonna be there like and if that were to happen you know that'd be insane because that means a bunch of DLC that people paid for is going to be back. And I know a lot of people would come back and be like, well, technically that means we'd have to repay for DLC. And it's like, no, because if you remember right, after a certain point, Forsaken became free and so did the two DLC before it. So if they were to like reopen those DLC, I feel like, it would just be a, oh, hey, by the way, this is a free update. And then, you know, you'd be able to play Forsaken. And I feel like definitely at that point, you know, they could definitively say at that point, okay, you can now play the entirety of the Light and Darkness Saga from start to finish. 
at least in Destiny 2. Because you, if you want to do start to finish in the Light and Dark Saga, technically it starts all the way in Destiny 1. But Destiny 1 has its own like start to finish point. With you starting with the Black Garden and ending on Wrath of the Machine, aka the SIVA. Well, technically it ends with Age of Triumph, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but I have a feeling that might happen eventually. I don't know if it'll happen at the end of, you know, the final shape. But I feel like they'll do that eventually. And when that happens, I feel like a lot of people will be a lot happier because they won't be complaining about, quote unquote, content they paid for becoming obsolete or, you know being reused which by the way if anyone was anyone in my comment section was saying that because of lost sectors and you didn't even grind lost sectors i don't want to hear it especially that mars lost sector like how many of you actually grinded that mars lost sector like that was stupid and a lot of the community knew it was stupid but anyway i ramble a lot i know that um yeah, so final thoughts is Master Mode should definitely be looking more like Contest Mode. And I feel like Bungie should rework the Champion System or give us just a new system with harder enemies. And that gives like modifiers or something that makes it even harder. Kind of like the Nightfall System, but even more. Like, for example, like how Risk of Rain does it, where the longer you're playing, the more challenge it takes and you don't fail the mission until everyone dies and the longer you go the more rewards you get you know but yeah that's just my silly personal opinion of course uh but anyway guys if you guys like the video hit the like button comment down below what do you think if there was a new ornament that you could put in for, say, I don't know, King's Fall, Varg, or, um, Wrath of the Machine, what would you, what kind of ornament would you make for those raids? Let me know down in the comments below. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video, and I will see you guys later. Bye bye